Tonight, President Obama is making waves in the fishing world. He's looking at new environmental rules, and some people fear these rules could ban recreational fishing. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney has more tonight from Studio 15. President Obama's Ocean Policy Task Force recently released some recommendations on how to improve the health of our oceans, coasts, and lakes. According to some people, including a few lawmakers, those recommendations leave the door wide open to a ban on recreational fishing. Now that has created a lot of fear and outrage in the fishing industry. I've been fishing since I've been a little kid. Mike Roy is the owner of Northside Bait and Tackle on Sherman. When he heard new environmental rules could ban recreational fishing, he couldn't believe it. When I first heard it, I said, man, this can't be real. Anthony Trulove is in the same boat. He runs a Lafayette Bait and Tackle shop. Here, business is already slow because of the economy. A ban would undoubtedly sink his and other jobs. I don't think it can get much harder, but if, if that would happen, to any extent, I would quickly find something else to do. I think if they come in and try to take the fish out, you could have a riot. As they make waves, some in the fishing industry admit there is a problem with overfishing, but they have their own ideas on how to fix it. They would have to promote more catch and release and maybe slow down the boating part of it and, and actually maybe the fishing Times. Right now, it's still unclear what will happen, but True Love and Roy both hope it won't be their worst fears. I just can't see, you know, people letting, letting this happen. I just can't see them letting it happen. The administration will not take any more public input on the matter, and that is not okay with Congressman Mark Souter. He plans on sending the president a letter asking him to reconsider. In, in Studio 15 tonight, Aisha Hassani, News Channel.